Hey everybody, I'm Tektos and welcome back to Let's Play Divinity Original Sin. Now as you can see, I uh, did move from the location that we ended the last episode at. Um, reason being, I needed to talk to Esmeralda and I did some reading around and some looking around because I do want to finally get out of uh, Sicil and, and move on with the story, but apparently I've kind of hit a wall with my quest lines. So I've been looking around and apparently you have to talk to her. And the reason why I couldn't do that, if you look at the attitude she got towards us, it is now minus 19, it was minus 65 or something. So I gave her like a thousand gold. Good to see you. And uh, now suddenly we can talk to her again. Which is uh, lovely, I gotta say. I should have actually used the chance to trade with her, because she has like 7,000 gold, but whatever. Good, so uh, let's let's see that. Be gone, you beast. You have bereft me of my freedom, despite my innocence. I've been routed by a rat, and now I must dwell among more. Hmm. Care to explain the bloody knife? Perhaps it is you who should explain your presence in my cellar. And the dagger, it's simply a butcher knife I used by my late husband to cut meat. He did so love to cook the deer. Um, hmm. I found your book about planning the perfect murder. Oh, that horrid tome of ill repute. It isn't mine, it was Jake's. He was a politician, don't you see? Always on the lookout for plotting rivals. Always trying to be one step ahead. Really, I should have thought a source hunter of all people would appreciate my dear husband's sense for survival. Mm, this love letter seems kind of incriminating. I don't put stock in these hastily scribbled words of a lovelorn fool. This letter, it was show, it was a show of passion. A poorly worded passion. I did not echo in the least. The Duke, he's like a spoiled child. He's not a man. He's not like Septimus. Who is Septimus? We found so much evidence against you. Had you not better confess? But all of it is circumstantial. Oh my god, we were in a court of law here? <laughs> I didn't watch Law and Order. It's not aired in Germany, so I can't really hold my own there. Anyway, um, <clears throat> it's all circumstantial. I have a perfectly... Logical explanation for every piece of so-called evidence against me, and yet you've seen to it that I was locked in this dreadful dungeon. People seem to want to believe I'm guilty. So let me tell you something I've been keeping to myself. Perhaps it may yet lead to the true culprit. Over the last few months, Jake grew distant. Distant and dark somehow. Something in him changed. I can't quite put my finger on it, but he was no longer the gentleman he used to be. In fact, he scared me. It all began the day he met Evelyn, Master Thillurian Thil or oh, whatever, apprentice. She healed him of what we believe to be a fatal wound he suffered hunting boars. I think he became obsessed by her. Or obsessed by the secret I just know she holds. Talk to this woman and there's more to her than meets the eye. In fact, I wouldn't be surprised if she belongs to that sect, you know? Those worship a goddess without name and practice rituals blood. Yeah. Tell me about Evelyn. Never liked her from the moment I met her. Man cannot see past her beauty, but I gazed in her eyes and it was death that leered back at me. She hails from Silverglen, a village in the north forest north of Sicil. How she made it past the undead without a legion escort, I'll never know. Though I can hazard an eerie guess. If anyone killed my Jake, it must be her. She had her claws in him for many long months, and finally she must have cut too deeply. Uh, okay, I'll take my leave. Good to see you again. Let's try that. It isn't you, rat. You put me... <laughs> get me out of here. Evelyn's guilty party, not I. Farewell. Alrighty, so now we updated this one. Counselor's wife. Um. Yeah, the problem is, though... That the healers already run away. So I'm not quite sure how to approach this. Though let's uh, give it a quick save there, of course. And then let's talk to Rhea. My friend Richards! Um.
Ah, whatever. Okay. It's Maybe so um, Arhu has some more knowledge that he keeps to himself. Certainly worth a try. Oh, hello there. Uh, how about you tell me a bit more about yourself? But certainly, what would you like to know? Can I you inform? Okay, now we asked those questions already. So is Hunter Business. What do you know about an ancient king called Bracchus? Well, let's first discuss Jake's murder. Um, no new options there. Bracchus. Bracchus? I've read about him, of course. The last of the sorcerer kings, a madman, who was defeated right here in Sicil. In fact, many of the ruins you can find to the east, beyond the city walls, used to be palaces and temples built during his reign. They were used as quarries afterwards, when they were constructing the town you see here today. Bracchus himself was buried n somewhere nearby, but no one knows where the actual grave is. And a good thing that is too. Imagine the necromancers at work getting a hold of a creature like him. Ah, uh, yeah, I guess they already have. Let's discuss the Barn of Bones and... No, oh, more about the strangers. I can't say much more, but... That they're madmen all the more dangerous to us because of their allegiance with what should be a natural enemy. Really? Thanks for that nugget of wisdom, that insight from your sorcerer's mind. I wouldn't have uh, come to that conclusion myself. You won't see me teaming up with those with a terrier in a hurry. Okay, burn of bones and brackets. Cuddling kittens, that's quite a tell, tell there. A very disturbing one it is too. So someone inside seal unless we're dealing with a complete stranger, is looking to resurrect an ancient sorcerer king. In that case, your mission is clear. If source you must hunt, then most certainly you must chase the one who is trying to recall Bracca's soul from whichever hell it dwells. Well, that I could offer you more than words alone. The tomb of this ancient king, it could lie beneath any spot in or around this ancient city. Yeah. Um. Okay, I think all the other questions we already asked. Uh, yeah, I went through that. I'll take my leave. So, what did you update? Arhu asked us to find out who raised the skeleton king, the man responsible for setting the undead upon size seal. Really? Ah, this guy isn't really uh, helpful. Ah, uh, whatever. What I also did, by the way, is uh, clear out my inventory of a little bit of that mess, but we don't have anybody who can afford the rest of these items. So, yeah. Gotta get to a gosh darn new town. <sighs> All these poor bastards, they can't really afford. Esmeralda's house, shop. That's the clinic. Morticians. Hmm. That's the Undertaker's hood. Withered gardens. Withered gardens. Huh. That's weird indeed. So where's Evelyn's house, actually? Let's go back to the clinic. Maybe we can find something there, but... It's really kinda... <sighs> kinda weird. Um, so what I learned is that we are supposed to, uh, to find a hideout where we slaughtered Dittmar. If you guys remember that, that was the quest that we got from the mayor. And apparently there's a reveal scroll that we can find and that will help us against... Or we will have to use it at a certain spot somewhere. I mean, I'm glad there's the internet and all, but I really don't see how I should have gotten to that conclusion on my own. Like... That's really... Really weird.
weird. Anyway, uh huh. Evidence backpack. Yeah, we already looked into that. And there's the key to Evelyn's house. Yes. Where on earth is Evelyn's house? Hmm. Let's let's take that. Maybe maybe it helps us. I don't know. Um Key to Evelyn's house. All right. That is great. So now what? Evelyn's house. Esmeralda's house, Esmeralda's shop, that is all Esmeralda. Here's the town hall living quarters, bathroom and the mayor's office. Here's the cook's home. Is it that? Yeah, could we could try. Can we go out the front door there? Yeah, we could. Is it this year? Ha! Huh. What do you know? It's Evelyn's house. Hey, Mr. Ball Sheep. I like that. Good! That was easy to find. I'll give that a quick save, of course. And let's look into it. Ah! Uh -huh. Oh! Why are you saving game? Secure lockbox key. And here's a chest. Ah, reveal spell. Well, let's close that door. I don't want to incriminate myself. Take the diary. Letter from the conduit. I'll definitely take that one. Could I read it right here? No, of course I can't. Parchment, don't need that. Water, air, and fire scroll. Those go to Mr. Jahan. Secure lockbox, there we go. Oh, that's great. Who would need a new shield? It's very annoying. Secrets of the scroll. Lots of empty bottles, which we really don't need. Well, actually, let's take a couple. Oh, that's just regular... Like, wine bottles? I thought you could use them to make... Um, Probably not. Okay, so now we got a book and a letter to read. Let's do just that. Hopefully we can find them here in the mis miscellaneous list. Evelyn's diary. One statement arrives with this staff. Ah, okay. So that is how you... Oh, okay, okay. I get that. I take my rambling back. So you did have a fighting chance to actually find out about the hideout. Except reading it on the internet, which I chose. Once Tidmar arrives with the staff, I will be utterly unstoppable. How pleased the conduit will be. How great the reward she'll grant when she sees what I've done. How I've renewed the counselor. I've taken the necessary precautions to disguise the northwest beach lair from prying eyes, so that only those with knowledge of this spell may enter. I do say our horse little terror taking control of the northern path leading there was quite the unexpected boon. Few are the fools who will face that monstrosity and my lair will remain undisturbed. May the goddess guide me. Well, we face so that she's thing. she's got a lair on the beach, does she? Perhaps that's where she stashed Jake's body. Uh, yeah, probably she'll drag it all the way up to the beach and stash it. Because why wouldn't you do that? Letter from the conduit. Let's read that. Evelyn, T tells me the hour is night. The king will live again. And when the knowledge I need is secured, I will be unstoppable. We double your devotion for the reward will be inconceivable. We shall meet again soon. Signed, the conduit. Through blatter, blah, blah, blah. Okay, we, we read that poem. Good. So uh, that's that. Oh, okay. That kind of helps with the finding of the lair. <laughs> so they did make that idiot proof. I just 
was too much of an idiot to actually find that. And, um... Yeah, so let's go on with that. Um, b -b 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 which one do we need? I think the statues are the closest to that. Oh, by the way, we do have some... Unfinished... This here is the... Wasn't there... There was one um, Legionnaires at the Church quest. I'm not quite sure. Was it here? Ah, whatever. Let's let's see with that later. Um, we'll have plenty of time to do that. And also, we didn't... Hidden Mound, huh? Um... Yeah, up here we didn't fight these guys yet, so let's let's just do that for sport. I think it should be rather easy now with our uh, new and improved party, but a short quick save doesn't hurt. Oh, me! Yeah, I should have healed up first. Okay, what's that? Seaside thug, level six, level six. Yeah, that's all very manageable. I only see two, there's two more. Whatever. Uh, okay, let's first wildfire Mr. Ragnarius. And then just uh, try and get close there. And boom, there we go. Uh, you will summon a skeleton first. Oh, there! Hiding behind. Yeah, 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 I see you now. Okay, he stopped screaming now. It's all good. And there we go, one step forward, and Ragnar should be able to hit you in the face. There you go. Wow. That's a pretty nice little hit there. Um, actually, let's go behind you. Just to have you tied up in combat. There we go. And uh, you go here. Maybe we can freeze these two archers. Hopefully. Yep. At least one we froze. Uh, let's just step here between them. And that should be it. What's that? Some kind of empowerment. Gives me some time to uh, empty my. To pull out the tea bag for my tea. And take a sip of that. Ah, so tasty. What the hell was that? Three turns? Really? I need to skill up bodybuilding with uh, Ragnar, apparently. <laughs> That's not too great. Should be easy to kill her. Um, can I hit? Yeah, of course not. I really probably should switch from this stupid crossbow. I don't have the skill for it, and it just slows me down tremendously. Really should do that. Okay, let's um, stun you, hopefully. Uh, yeah. Oh, they're both? No. You're stunned, you're stunned. Uh... Oh, whatever. Skelly! I'm gonna deal with him. <laughs> and... Why can't I? Ah, oh, whatever. And you are gonna deal with him. Hopefully we can... No, we can't. That's awesome. Moron. No. Okay, at least they're burning their own um, their own people. Uh, 
yeah, this thing here is dead now. Okay, one more hit. There we go. Let's get out of the fire there. It's not too healthy to stand in it. Can I now... Yep, I can. One dead thug. And uh, that's it. And Jahan, I have to kind of... Run up here, and now I can't really do much, so let's just go into the corner there. And we're gonna hopefully take two to the face and die. No, of course, I'm not gonna die. Be too convenient, but maybe you can. One, two. No, almost dead as well. How annoying. I guess we could have been a lot more efficient in that fight. What for? It's really an easy one. Just take some damage. I mean, I take a lot more damage than necessary, but... It's alright. I don't mind that. Um, sure, let's try. Let's try with Jahan. Show those bastards how it's done, and there we go. That should end the fight, shouldn't it? Yep. Certainly should. Okay, let's uh, heal. There's number one. There's number two. Let's walk you out of there. There's another heal. I guess we'll uh, not waste a heal for one point of damage. Um, two. And Ragnar's fully healed. Alrighty. Poison Blood Arrow. That sounds like something Lilith would like. Speaking of something Lilith would like, yeah, we're gonna equip that. Um, yeah, it does more damage, but it takes six action points to fire. And that kind of disables Lilith from really partaking in the fight, which I don't think is a very good idea. Uh, also, I'm sick and tired of my people falling over these uh, dead water elementals, so what I'm going to do here is uh, burn off that ice. There we go. Okay, what do we have? Well, that wasn't really... We got one chest. At least. That's good. And we got a two-handed practice sword. Thanks, game. That really, uh, that helped out quite a lot. Thanks. <laughs> no, I don't want to take the cooking pot. I just wanted to look in it. Where is it now? Oh my goodness gracious. I'm betting it's heavy as hell. Oh. It's a cooking pot! Exclamation mark. For cooking! I'll give it to Jahan. Maybe we'll later find some recipes that we could actually use with these ingredients, but... Well, that's something. Thank you. That is what I actually need. Uh, wooden coins. Wool, sure. Move that to Jahan. Alrighty, that was pretty much it, I guess. Secret of the scroll. And a broom. Okay, we're gonna take the secret of the scroll. I'm not that needy that I'm gonna steal a broom. Uh, what is this here? Where's this lead? Oh, that's one of these. Um, so if we go there, I think we'll go to uh, another area, no? Like behind this, so... It's not really the course I want to head to. I... What the hell was that? What was that sound? So weird. Whatever. So, let's revisit the rendezvous point where we uh, met Dittmar and his friends. They're all dead on the ground. Isn't that a pretty picture? Kinda amazing that the bodies are still there, though. I would have expected the game to make them vanish, but... 
Uh, so here's now the secret lair. This seems to be the location mentioned in Evelyn's diary. It looks like it. But where is the entrance? Where, oh where? So what can we do? We found a scroll of reveal. Hmm. What can we do with that? Maybe it could be used to reveal. Did I give that to Jahan? No. Give it to Lilith? No. Huh. Oh, there it is. Never mind. We who seek this hidden place, the conduit keep. We who dare to speak the spell, the goddess fear. We who step through yonder gate, the hunter hate. Seems the spell worked. If Evelyn's inside, she'll have plenty to answer for. I can picture uh, yeah. it now. Afternoon, my lady. Have you any cancelous corpses lying around, perchance? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's about the conversation we are planning to have with her. Hmm. Let's take a look inside. Covered vault. Oh. Love the music, love the atmosphere right away. Game captures me again. It's so amazing how they do that continuously. Again and again. Target is invisible, and he's pretty weak. Why is he so weak? Oh my goodness. I guess this here is Jake's body there. Hmm, so what shall we do with this situation? I think we shall uh, make a cut in here and resume the exploration for... Well, let's first... Um, I'm gonna like at least kill this guy. Maybe if we're fast enough. Here. I got all the others. Oh, you can try. Let's see how you're running after you get into that. Well. <laughs> that went well. Great. Okay, nothing in here. Oh, we got a key now. And an old push dagger. Okay, so that's uh, something to sell. Now, which direction do we go? Well, this here is uh, sealed off. So, which others did you want to warn? I guess up here. No, down there. Oh my goodness, what's that? Is that jellyfish in there? Really? I need one of that in my living room. Oh my, that's a nice aquarium. And that's exactly the atmosphere I'm going for when people enter my room. Maybe I have to have that torture rack as well. Put some ketchup around it, you know, just so people feel welcome and, and, and home <laughs> when they enter my living room. This actually has like a Diablo first level church flair to it here. I really love that. Um... Oh, and there's the orcs. Yeah, I guess this one is a longer fight, and I'm really out of time. <laughs> Excuse me there, I'm also out of voice. So, uh, I gotta make a cut in here. Gonna save this, and uh, yeah, we're gonna continue that next week. You guys, enjoy your day, have a good one, and uh, thanks for watching. And see you around for the next episode. Until then, goodbye.